just a slightly taller than you. Oh, there's a bad hit by Taylor Hall on McKinnon. Got him right in the head. Landeskog comes over after him. There is a penalty on the play. Both referees have their arm in the air as the athletic trainer comes out. Oh, no. Oh, boy. There is blood all over the ice from the face of Nathan McKinnon, and he is down. He tried to get up, and he just wobbled back to the ice. Hey, the look on Taylor Hall's face when he came to the bench right to my right was one of a player that didn't either see, understand what he did or how it happened or that it was something that was done on purpose. But clearly he wasn't even prepared. When Landis Cog came back to the bench here, he really shoved him into the boards pretty hard. He wasn't even braced for that. So, oh boy, great applause obviously for the Western Conference All-Star Nathan McKinnon. He's gushing blood. He just got clip coming across the middle and a scary sight here to start the game in Colorado. Penalty on the ice, the play is under review. Okay. And so it's stick. actually it's actually the stick. So that's why Taylor Hall came over to the bench saying, hey, I didn't there's nothing wrong with what I did right there. The shaft of the stick of McKinnon was lodged between there, the shoulder, and his body. So really there's nothing on, on Taylor Hall right here on this play. Uh, no intention, doesn't extend, doesn't, you know, doesn't intend to make head contact there. They have called a five-minute major that is now under review. Let's bring in Stefan Auger to talk about this one. What did you see on the play? Oh, we're having a problem with the communication there, so we'll come back to him, but... Uh, Panger, they are looking at this. They can rescind the major penalty. I think they'll rescind it. Yeah. I think they'll rescind it. I, and, you know, the players are even right between me here, between the benches. I mean, they're trying to get a look at the monitor. Because it was behind the play, the play was advancing. They weren't looking. You see the cut back to the right by, by McKinnon. Obviously, the impact of the body of Hall is enough to that stick right there. I mean, that hits him hard, boy. That hits him hard, but it's where his stick position is as he tries to get around. He gets his stick up in the air. Hall just goes through him. And uh, we had some technical difficulties with Stefan Auger. Stefan, can you hear us now? Yes, I can hear you guys. And what are your thoughts on this, and will they rescind it? Uh, in my opinion, they will. When you look at the replay, it's a, it's a clean body check. And McKinnon sticks is way up in the air. That's what causes the injury. Uh, the puck is right there. He's within that brief window. Uh, to hit the player, so in my opinion, they'll have a close look at it, and uh, they, they might resend that penalty because it's McKinnon's sticks that uh, causes the injury. It's, it's pretty clear that it's the stick that yeah. caused the injury. Is what they're looking at whether it would have been a hit to the shoulder if the stick wasn't there? Is that what they're trying to figure out? They're probably watching if it was a ch uh, the illegal check to the head. That's what they're looking at, and you know what? In real time, with different angles, that's what it looks like in, in real time. Uh, we'll have to hear what the referee sees After on that. After video replay. review, they confirm that we have a two-minute penalty for interference. So it will be a power play for Colorado, but it will not be a five-minute major called against Taylor Hall. So the interference call would lead you to believe they just thought the timing was a little bit late. But McKinnon has gone to the dressing room. Jared Bednar getting an explanation.